Hello you guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me. Uh, I'm going into work today, so I had to do my makeup. There wasn't a specific theme, so this is just what I felt like doing. It's a nice smoky cat eye. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like. And for the foundation, I just decided to go with something a little bit more natural and luminous. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just stick around. If you guys wanna see some of my go-to products as well, it'll all be included in this video. So keep watching. Today we're just going to do a simple get ready with me. It's been a hot minute since I filmed last, so so let's just jump right into this video. So first up for today, I'm going to be using the Smashbox uh, Radiance Primer. I've been absolutely loving this primer. It's made with hyaluronic acid, which helps hydrate your skin and retain moisture in it. And it has like a really pretty pearly kind of color. So what I usually do is I always warm up my products before I apply them. So I'm just going to warm it up between my fingers and apply that to my T-zone. We're gonna go ahead and use the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD in the color Y215. And this is just gonna help with a bit of the coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix those two together to create my perfect shade. And honestly, the It Cosmetics CC Cream is phenomenal for anyone who is looking for something a little bit more hydrating or a little bit more of a full coverage when you're when it comes to like something like a CC cream because a lot of people usually think like oh I want to look more natural but I can't sacrifice the coverage because let's say I have dark spots or I have sunspots or age spots or acne scarring whatever it is this actually helps go in and color correct it it even helps with um, rosacea and it's not going to irritate any kind of skin either even if you're a little bit more sensitive it's actually really good for your skin I'll usually just go in and spot conceal with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I absolutely love this one. This one's in the shade Vanilla. I actually find that it helps color correct under my eyes at the same time. Put a little product under my eye here. And a little bit goes a long way with this product. And I actually just like to warm it up with my ring finger. Just by pressing it into the skin. So one thing about concealer is that so many people tend to apply it in a sweeping motion. And then they complain about it going into their under eye circles or your bags. Usually it's because of the way you apply or you apply too much product. So if you find it starts to crease on you throughout the day, either try tapping it into the skin just by pressing very lightly or try using a little bit less product because I find that that helps a lot too. So just like that, it adds like a nice brightness under the eyes. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and spot conceal any areas that I need a little bit more coverage. The HD um, foundation as well as filled with hyaluronic spheres, which again helps hydrate your skin and helps retain moisture in your skin. So I find that this foundation with the primer together, they're like a match made in heaven. I've been getting a little bit more of that glow to my skin, which I've been striving for since, since the day I was born. I haven't really decided what I wanted to do for my eyes yet. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and use my go-to's. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my primer now. And the one that I've been using, like my go-to lately, has been the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I really just apply the tiniest little bit. It does have a slight beige tint to it, but it kind of, once it once you blend it out, it really just kind of absorbs into your skin. It doesn't really neutralize too, too much. Whereas like some of the other ones, like the MAC Paint Pots, they really help with neutralizing any veins or darkness on the eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead, before I set my under eyes and everything like that, um, I don't even set my primer, I just kinda let it sit on the eye for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And I don't know what's been going on with my brows lately, but they've been getting a little bit more sparse than they are usually. I don't know if, like for the longest time I haven't been touching them or plucking them or anything. So I'm noticing that I'm having to fill in a little bit more. So that's just my bottom line, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the top line. And I've been liking a bit more of a straight brow lately. I don't like it to be too defined on my arch. So just like that. And don't worry if you kind of make a little bit of a mess. I usually always make a mess, and then I just usually go ahead and touch it up with my concealer after. So I'm just gonna blend that out using the spoolie. You can see that I pretty much just filled in the top and the bottom. I didn't really fill in the middle too, too much. And I usually go from the front and I just draw these little lines upwards to mimic your natural growth of the hair. And I really like to extend my little tail since it's so naturally little. Now, for the concealer, I'm gonna take that soft matte um, 
NARS concealer on a very flat brush. I actually got these brushes from um, Michaels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and sharpen the bottom right here. This one wasn't actually bad today. And I usually just use my finger to blend out through the top. And then I usually just fix the tail like so. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and just blend in any areas that we had put the concealer down because sometimes you'll see like that random line through the concealer or through your foundation and uh, I'm not going for that look. And I'm just going to go in with, ugh, I'm just going to go in with Tempera which is my all-time favorite setting shade for my, for my eyes and I'm just going to place that all over the lid. And the reason why I didn't set it was because I knew that we'd be using some concealer to fix up the um, eyebrows. So you never really want to go from all of your cream to powder to cream because then it just kind of gets a little bit muddy and textured. So just keep that in mind. Do all your powders at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and take Roxy on my Beach Cosmetics crease brush. I don't actually know what it's called because the name wiped off. And I'm just going to place that right here. Now the thing with subculture is that everybody knows there's been a crap ton of feedback about it being not pressed hard enough or too much kickback and just muddy and I actually find that it works beautifully if you use it with a different palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and I always place it on the eye first and then I'm gonna go ahead and start blending because that helps with the kickback and the, the fallout, I find, with this palette specifically. And the colors can be a little bit tricky to blend depending on which one, so... This is just going to help out a little bit. And then I just go over the very edge of it with the brush that I had Tempera on, just to blend out any edges. The way that, I would say, Nikki Tutorials does it, which is all backwards to me, but I find it so interesting the way that she does her eye looks. Oh, just look at that color, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna take this guy right here. Um, yeah, this guy, right here. And with my finger, I'm just gonna apply that to my lid, so that way it doesn't go everywhere. So I'm just gonna pat it. And a little trick when you have some fallout, just sweep upwards. It'll pick up the product without it making a huge mess everywhere because it gets stuck in the little bristles of the brush. And it should help out a little bit. If not, like I said, we didn't set the area, so I'm just gonna go ahead and over it with a little bit more concealer to hide it. So I'm gonna take Roxy on a little tiny brush. And I'm just gonna bring it under the eyes as well. Sephora Collection brush number 41. It has a really nice point to it, so you can really define like your crease with it. Or that outer V. I'm gonna go in with red ochre and start to bring it out and into the crease. And again I'm just kind of flicking it to create a nice fade. And then if ever you need help blending just go back in with that other brush here and blend out that soft edge. I'm going to go ahead and take the Too Faced, so it's called Blinded by the Light, and I'm actually going to use it with a sponge just because, like I said, I have a little bit of texture on my skin. So this has been my little trick lately that I've been doing to really maximize that highlight. So with that, I'm going to take a little fan brush with that product, and I'm just going to place it on my brow bone. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and just place it right on my nose because I like having my nose highlight quite out there. Okay, so now that we are filled with highlight from head to toe, I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is one of my favorites as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to contour with that. Now I always start pretty much right next to my ear on that cheekbone. I don't go too much lower because I actually really like to give that lifted effect, not so much that sunken in look. I usually do like to blend down from there because I want it to make it seem like I have more of a rounded hairline. 
And then who doesn't like to define their jaw? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then with whatever's left over on the brush, that's when I bring it down onto my neck. And now one of my favorite products since I don't even know how long. I use it on everyone. Anytime I'm doing makeup, it's the Mood Exposure Hourglass Blushes. Like, ugh, this color is like the perfect blush for somebody who doesn't want to look like they're wearing blush or who doesn't really know if they want to wear like a peachy tone or a red tone or a pink tone. This is perfect. It's that like perfect blush that goes with any eye look. And I'll usually just apply a touch of it right to the apple of my cheek and blend it right into the highlight and the contour. So I'm not a huge fan of baking because like I said, I have dry skin. It doesn't really work that the best on me. But I do like to sharpen my contour with a bit of baking. But I don't really bake with it. I just kind of rub it over the area where let's say I want to have a bit um, more of a straighter line or more definition like underneath my contour. And whatever I have left on my beauty blender is what I kind of set my makeup with. So that way it doesn't look too textured. I literally just use the tiniest bit. And again, that highlight is still mixed onto that tip, so it does give a luminous kind of finish. I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup using the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. So now that all of that is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my mascara. I'm not going to be wearing eyeliner today just because my eyes have been quite angry with me lately from wearing my contacts too often. And so the mascara that I've been using lately is the Lancome Mr. Big. This mascara is phenomenal. Just look how chunky that brush is. So if you like a very thick, voluminous, voluminous lash, this will be your best friend. And I really kind of twist the brush as I apply it just to get from that root all the way up to that top of the lash. And if you do go side to side with this product, there is a chance that you will clump up your mascara just because the brush is very, has a lot of product basically like in it. And I will use the tip of it to grab that product too. And just remember to use the brush what it's really made for and that's curling the lashes. So that's just one coat and you can really see the difference. insane and I actually love these pencils from Rimmel London I find that they actually are some of my favorites it's these scandalize and they work really well they stay on my waterline pretty for, for quite a while they're waterproof it's called these scandalize and it's a cold Kajal pencil and I actually get it in a beige tone so that way it matches my skin tone and it just opens up your eye quite a bit all right you guys so I hope you enjoyed today's get ready with me I know it wasn't that short of a video it was pretty long but if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you want to get notified when i do my videos since it's not really a, like a, a scheduled thing for me not yet at least um just click the little notification bell so that way you'll be able to get notified right away and watch the video right away and comment down below what else you guys would like to see so i filmed a few special effects and a bit of makeup let me know if you want to see anything about my skincare routine or my um my new apartment, my tattoos, something like that, along those lines, something fun, just to get to know me a little bit. Um, so leave that in the comments down below and I will get back to you guys ASAP. So stick around for more.